introduction on the different components that has been used in building up this architecture. <coughs> the offender's business scenario which we had and which, which we took as a challenge and made a solution of uh, using Adobe Flex and developed an application using Adobe Flex. So, and I will be covering the architecture, the, the complete architecture of uh, accessing the data from SAP and displaying and uh, presenting it on the, the UI using Adobe. And then the details will be covered in the integration with R3 and the portal and the deployment related to it. And in the last, I will be covering the challenges and the learnings that we had while get coming up on the evolution of this particular architecture. So, as we all know, the rich internet applications are the more intuitive and effective experience for the end users. So, since Fender is one of our client and Fender is a leading guitar manufacturing company and it's a hip hop kind of a company. So the visual appeal is the most important thing with them. So they were looking for a kind of solution where we can provide them with a kind of a rich internet application with the robust functionalities of accessing the SAP R3 data and using it. So we used Adobe Flex and made this architecture for having their underlying SAP R3 system and get the data onto the front end. So the different components that I have used in Adobe Flex uh, uh, in this whole architecture is basically the SAP business server pages, which is basically the server pages uh, within the R3 system, and they can be used using the HTTP service calls. The Adobe Flex Builder is basically the Adobe Flex framework, which in includes MXML action script and Flex Tag Library for JSP. So the Flex Tag Library for JSP is basically a library which is provided by Adobe to embed the MXML within the JSP pages. So here is the pictorial representation of uh, what the business scenario, the current business scenario was. Uh, the orders were received by the sales representative, and then it goes into the R3 system, and then the IT support team extracts the data manually from the SAP R3 system, and then they have different Excel sheets to which they map the budget data and uh, the sales calendar and then extract the data and consolidate it to present it to the sales managers. Definitely there was no real-time reporting in it. It's, it was not at all accessible over the internet. The formatting was uh, done manually and no graphical representation. It was just the numeric figures up there. <coughs> so what we have proposed as a solution to them is the order receiving process is still the same, but in between, we, what we have got is a flex application. So there were the ABAP programs which were already in the system, which were used to extract the data from the SAP RT system. We have used them to call the ABAP programs using the BSP application, generate an XML out of it, and then uh, use that formatted XML within the uh, rich uh, uh, components, uh, rich flex components and map it to them and display it as a real-time report. So the, uh, using this particular solution, they have the real-time web-based reporting system, better accessibility, and it was more secure. Because only an authenticated uh, person who has a right authentication credentials can go in and look at the data. Graphical representation, which means more visibility and more understanding to the data. And more, under, uh, more understanding means more analysis uh, of the data and whatever the efforts that they need to take uh, to change the sales and other strategical things can be done using that. So here's the architecture which I have used in developing this whole solution and involved in that. So they already have this uh, R3 system there where the orders uh, and the uh, orders uh, being entered by the sales rep while they are on the phone call with the dealers and the different other outlets. So on top of it, what we have done is developed a couple of ABAP programs and the BSP application, which is basically have the, which basically has the XML pages in it. So this uh, BSP application, which has the XML, can accept parameters using the query string, which has been passed while calling the URL, which is basically the BSP URL. Then this. Uh, uh, BSP URL is called within the Flex application and uh, 
when this uh, URL is called, when it uh, invokes the PSP, it actually initializes the uh, function within the PSP application, and this function internally calls the ABAP program. So ABAP program returns the XML back to the PSP, and then the PSP returns back the XML to the Flex application, and which is a pre-formatted, so there has, there's no additional formatting needs to be done using ActionScript, or not an additional effort is required to map it to the controls. It can straight away get mapped to the chart controls or the data grid or any control. Then using the Flex tag library, uh, this uh, Flex application gets embedded within the Java server pages. And using the, and uh, this G these GSP server pages, which are developed in NetFever Developer Studio, basically gets, uh, an IBO is created uh, within the SAP Enterprise portal and can be added onto a particular role. So once a user logs into the SAP Enterprise portal and if he has the right roles and privileges, he can go onto that particular tab and access the report right away. So no complex security mechanism is required or reinventing the whole security mechanism is not required here. So in this, the, the different architectural components that I have used, uh, which were existing in the infrastructure and which were added are the first thing is the SAP RT system version 4.7. It's a pretty old version that has been running, and right now Fender has no plans of upgrading it. So we have developed the ABAP programs and business server page applications within it. Then the Adobe Flex framework, which has MXML, ActionScript 3.0, and Flex tag library for JSP, which is Java server pages. Then uh, Java server pages are basically developed within the NetWeaver Developer Studio and deployed using the NetWeaver Developer Studio to the J2 SAP Enterprise Portal J2E engine. And that's where the Adobe Lifecycle Data Service is already installed. And uh, uh, it's basically finally delivered on the SAP Enterprise Portal, which is uh, over there, it's running on a version 6.0 as Service Pack 11. Coming on to the integration with the R3 and Portal, it's like multiple step of integration that has been done. The first is basically ABAP program to business server pages. So the ABAP programs are called from the business server pages, which are internally called within the uh, using the business server pages. These business server pages are called using the HTTP service call to the URL, to the XML pages using the Flex application. And the Flex application is basically emb gets embedded to the Flex tag library, uh, using Flex tab tag library for GSP uh, within the Java server pages. And finally, the Java server pages is uh, an IV gets created for these Java server pages to the portal. And um, the deployment is basically the embedded Flex application in GSP pages to the JSP, to the J2E engine using the uh, NetWeaver Developer Studio, and then the iViews are created and using the uh, content administration in the SAP Enterprise Portal, and that's where it gets deployed the moment you create it. So uh, basically, in this, uh, the embedded Flex application in the JS JSP page, when it gets deployed and when uh, the iView requests this particular page at runtime using the lifecycle Adobe lifecycle data services. These pages get uh, compiled at runtime to convert into a SWF file, and then it gets displayed. And coming on to, this is uh, kind of a very small code snippet and the flow of showing how the MXML page gets delivered onto the SAP portal. So you can see at the bottom here is the hello world.mxml. It's a simple application which has a label saying hello world. And this MXML page is, gets embedded within the hello world.jsp file using the flex tag library here. And then when and the uh, IV gets created for this JSP page, using the Adobe Lifecycle Data Services, it is delivered onto the SAP Enterprise Portal. So here's the screenshot, uh, which basically is showing the data. And you can see over here on the Top, uh, top data grid here, the sales rep, uh, the list of the sales rep, their revenues, their daily budget, monthly budget, and the percentage